what's happening? Lex back today for another Brawl Stars video. And today we are going with round two of 10 more things that only original Brawl Stars players will remember. Now the last one that I made was actually a lot of fun to make. It took me a trip down memory lane and I think it did for a lot of you as well. And you new players are like, wow, so that's how the game used to be? Now I will say that most of you guys knew all of those 10, except for the top one, which I don't quite blame you because you would have only really known that if you would have followed Reddit and Twitter really close and or looked at the game files. It was, it was definitely a harder one to figure out or to know, but these 10 are probably, you know what, if, you, if you're original Brawl Stars player, you're probably going to remember all of these ones. So without further ado, let's hop into 10 more things that only original, those OG Brawl Stars players will remember. Now, when the game first started, you could only grind your brawler up to 500 trophies. You could play after that, but you wouldn't gain any more trophies. Not like now where you gain past it, and at Season Reset, you lose half of those trophies after 500. So not too long after the game was launched, we had a couple players that just grinded like mad and got all the way up to 8,000 trophies, which was the maximum amount of trophies in the game that you could get, period. You couldn't go any higher. And the first player to ever reach 8,000 trophies, which was the maximum, was Easton. Now, Pinland was not too far behind but Easton was the very first and uh, let me just say I've played Easton a few times back in the old days and I would love to say that I gave him a good match but he pretty well smashed me he was really really good I don't think he plays anymore uh, perhaps he does I wish he would come back because he was really great um, but yeah Easton was the first player to beat the game because he reached 8,000 trophies which you could get no more I don't think that they realized that people were going to grind up that high that quick and so they removed the cap from the brawler trophies and implemented a more system like it is today it was actually been changed a couple times but yeah at first, you could only get to 500 trophies on your brawlers, and that was it. So once you reach 8,000 trophies, congrats, you beat the game. Now, Bone Box and Mushroom Cave are really great maps. However, there was a small period of time where they actually added extra walls into the maps. It was done because there was a lot of long range brawlers that were just dominating everything at the moment. So they added some walls to hopefully bring back in more short brawlers, but they quickly realized that that just made <laughs> any kind of short range brawler on those map completely insane. And those walls were, were removed quickly. But for a while, yes, there were some extra walls in Mushroom Cave and Bone Box. Now, prior to the landscape update, there was differences between playing on an iPad and playing on an iPhone. You could see further on an iPhone, but you could see wider on an iPad. It was actually disproportionate. You could see more length on an iPhone than you could with on a uh, iPad. So it was actually an advantage to be able to play on an iPhone because you could actually see the end of your shots as Piper. You couldn't on an iPad. And I can't tell you how many times I was frustrated where I wouldn't even see the Piper because I play on an iPad and I would get sniped by Piper and I would never even see her. She wouldn't even be on my screen. I'm like, well, that's just great. I just got wrecked and I didn't even know where it came from. I, could, I had no chance to even see them to dodge a shot or even know that they were there because I couldn't see them. When the landscape update came, uh, you couldn't see the end of your shot as well until they nerfed Piper in Ricochet's range. Uh, but. For a while there, yeah, it was actually a benefit to play on an iPhone because you could see further range. Now you could see like, it was about a one tile or a half of a tile extra width you could see on an iPad, but it didn't make up for the couple tiles extra that you could see on an iPhone, but you know, that's the iPad life for you. Now, back in the day, Shelly was so OP. I mean, she was just dominated showdown, period. She was just amazing and there was such an outcry on reddit and the community and everywhere that shelly was just ridiculous that the dev team saw the outcry and they're like okay we, we're gonna have to nerf shelly and if i remember right i don't think that they felt that she was really that op that she was a little strong but not that great but because there was such a massive outcry that they're like okay and and they went ahead and nerfed shelly pretty hard and she largely remained irrelevant until star powers came into the mix because her star power was really strong and she became a staple in Brawl Ball because of her defensive stopping capabilities. But for a long time, Shelly was just top of the tier, uh, especially in Showdown, and then she became kind of nothing. And now she's somewhere in the middle, which is a pretty good spot for her.
Now, one of the reasons why Crow is just so ridiculously good right now is because his super jumps just like so quick and he can just leap onto somebody and assassinate them. Well, back in the old days, the OG players will remember this, that his super was actually really slow and pretty much pointless unless it was, you could be used for escaping, but not really for attacking because it was took so long for him to jump in the air. Hey guys, what's up? Just crow up here, just hanging out up here. You guys know where I'm gonna land. And then he would slowly come down and you pretty much knew exactly where he was landing. So it would just be like, hey, here he comes. Let's just wait for him to land and then bam, you're dead. So Crow's super used to be, it was really cool looking. It was kind of regal watching him. I would like to see the Phoenix Crow doing that old super jump. Now that would be pretty dope. He would look like he's just soaring, but it really wasn't very good unless you're trying to get away. And then when they changed it, his super jump was actually a lot faster. I mean, it was really quick and it was too strong. So they nerfed it back down to where it is right now, which is in a pretty good spot. All right, so this next one, you guys are going to feel my pain. If you ever faced this, or maybe you're one of those dirty, rotten scoundrels who actually did this. But back in the original days, Temple Ruins, the, the walls went all the way to the edge. And so there was a strategy Mortis double lobber strategy. So what would happen was the Mortis would dash all the way to the center, pick up that first star and then retreat. All the while there's two lobbers sitting there just throwing over the top of the walls, blocking off the one entrance to go kill them. And they would sit there the entire match and just sit there and lob over the walls and you could never approach them. You could never get to them. And it was the most frustrating thing to play. It was so cheesy. It was dirty. I mean, it. Ugh. Now, I actually never did it. It was actually, I thought it was pretty lame because it, just, it didn't seem like fun. Yeah, it was actually probably easy trophies. And maybe I should have hopped on that train, but I was just like, that just is lame, guys, man. Play a real match, get some real competition. But I definitely went against it a few times. And <sighs> unless you had to lobber yourself to get over there and get the surprise kill, you pretty much could never get in there. And it was just not a fun time at all. So Mortis double lobber was a thing until they removed two little chunks of the walls on the very ends to give multiple access points into that area. And now it's not really a thing anymore. But if you remember back in the old days, yeah, that was frustrating. That was frustrating. These next two are going way back, actually to right before the game was released in the Brawl Stars YouTuber tournament. Take a look at the first throwback and that was that Nita could actually throw out multiple bears. Currently, whenever you have a bear on the field, if you charge up enough super and you, your bear is still out there, you can throw another bear out, but your bear, current bear disappears and the new one replaces it. However, that used to not be the thing. You could actually have multiple bears on the field. And in the YouTuber tournament, you can see where OJ has three bears at one time on the field. You think that dealing with one is enough? Try dealing with three. I kind of want to try that. That might actually kind of be kind of fun, but well, to play it, not to go against it. But yeah, multiple bears used to be a thing from Nita and it was kind of crazy. And along those lines, Poco, his super used to break walls as well as his normal shot would heal brawlers. Just like his star power now was kind of like his normal shot back then. It would heal brawlers and then his super would actually go further and break walls. That's crazy to think that the guitar strumming skills were so good that they could break down walls. Now that's some, that's some hard rock right there. All right, bad joke, bad joke. Now Pam is actually a really great gym carrier and just a really good well-rounded brawler in Brawl Stars in her role. However, when she was first released, she was pathetic. She was just not very good at all. She did so little damage. I mean, you had to be directly up on their toes to put any sort of pressure on them whatsoever. Her spread was wider and it was just, it was not a good time. And I remember uh, Corey actually, uh, I brought Corey on my channel and we were discussing uh, one of the new updates. I think this was before we ever even did face cam. Um, and we were talking about the update and we were playing some. And I remember when we were playing afterwards, we're like, man, Pam just really sucks, man. It's hard to talk her up whenever 
she just sucks that bad. Now Terra, at the, on the other hand, was actually really strong. She her, her normal attacks were a lot stronger than they are now, and she was really OP before she got nerfed. But uh, yeah, Pam, she was absolutely not thick back then. She was pretty pretty sad. And now we have made it to the number one thing that only OG Brawl Stars players will remember. Now, you guys actually mentioned this a lot in the comments of my old one, and I thought, yeah, why didn't I include that one? Again, there are so many things that I could have included. I mean, the list is probably endless, but if you didn't already notice, in the background of this video playing the music, it's different, right? That's because back when the game was kind of a Wild West themed game, the music was different. And when they, in the December update, when they changed it over to a more of a modern kind of feel, the music changed. I actually always really preferred the old music. The new music is okay, and I've definitely come, become accustomed to it, but the old music definitely just bring back some memories. So I'm gonna give you guys a little short sample if you haven't been listening throughout this video. So enjoy a little bit of gameplay and maybe about 10, 15 seconds worth of music. And of course, here is the new style music. So you guys let me know in the comments down below, which of these two songs do you like better? Do you like the old music or do you like the new music? I, I personally think I'm gonna have to go for the old one, although, Looking back, I think in my head it seemed cooler than it was, and when I really started listening to this music, I'm like, yeah, this is really cool. It's kind of got that banjo-y kind of twang to it, but the new stuff is pretty awesome too, so I don't know. But that is the number one thing that only OG Brawl Stars players will remember. You guys let me know in the comments down below how many of these you remembered. But that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and as always, until next time. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Flex out. There we go. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of elixir though right there. Woo, five. We got five now. Now old me missed my chance to get a power up. Don't miss your chance right now to go check out some of those videos or subscribe or else you're going to regret it. Still looking back at that one lone elixir. Could have made the difference.